so hot <laughs> all right so it's been a while but I'm here in New York City this is my apartment and I'm staying here for about two and a half months I got a sublease because I'm working full-time at a startup this summer a lot of you guys have been messaging me asking me to put out a new video this is that video and I'm sorry I haven't been able to post a ton recently it's because I was moving in I'm working a full-time job right now and it's just been hard kind of getting adjusted I'm ready to get back into making videos. I've been using this term called red line to kind of describe the mentality I have with these videos. So what is a red line? It's basically a term used for cars. If you look at the numbers on your dashboard, when it turns red, that's the red line. And basically you're not supposed to go deep into the red, but right at that line, that red line, that is the point where the car can support a maximum speed without causing damage to the parts of the car. So yeah, that kind of describes like my mentality with the videos. I want to go as hard as possible, you know, without causing damage to me, to, to my life. You know, I want to make sure I'm balancing everything still. So those are my excuses for why I was gone for a couple weeks, but we're making videos again. And we're starting with this one. This is an apartment tour of my place here in Brooklyn. I'm currently living in Bushwick, which is a beautiful neighborhood, very residential. There's a lot of street art. There's a lot of culture, a lot of families, and it's kind of nice to be away from the city. What I like about this area is it's pretty quiet. It's about 20 minutes by train away from Manhattan, which is like the city city. All right, so before we actually get started, I'm gonna go downstairs and do my laundry real quick. It's really hot, I'm sweating. And I'm also going to talk a little bit more about like how much I'm paying for this place and a little bit of a life update. So I didn't actually bring a laundry basket, so I've been using grocery bags as my laundry basket. Works great. Alright, so let me introduce this place real quick. 
All right, so I pay around $1,400 in rent for this place every single month. And I also pay utilities on top of that. So on the high end, it's probably around like $100 a month. So around 1.5 a month is what I'm paying for this place. I really like this location. Like I said, it's pretty quiet. And it's only 15 minutes from where I work in Williamsburg and it's only 20 minutes from the city. And also I had a few options in the city, but they were all around $2,000 a month and I didn't have the budget for that. So I'm staying here for 1.4, which is a little bit pricey for Brooklyn, um, but I really like this space, so it kind of worked out. Sorry, I got a little hungry. Um, I don't think I explained why I'm here in New York. I'm actually working at a startup. It's like an influencer marketing startup for the summer. I'm working full time, which has, again, been really difficult to balance with videos. Uh, well, I haven't been balancing it with videos, um, but now I'm trying to. And it's not even that I don't have time. It's just like, when you come back from work, you just don't have the energy, you know? You don't have the energy to go edit a video or, you know, I've been going to the gym, so on top of my full-time job, I go to the gym and then when I come back, I'm really like, I don't feel like doing anything. Uh, luckily, the internship is paid, so it's helping me cover this place as well as food. All right, so obviously we're in the kitchen right now and it was really important for me to have a place this summer with a proper kitchen because I'm learning to cook. I'm not doing well, but I'm trying my best. Um, so yeah, I'm like prepping meals now, making my lunch, making dinner, and actually, yeah, making almost every meal. Yeah, all I know how to make is pasta, chicken, and beef. <laughs> so it's kind of sad right now, but I'm learning. If anyone has any like cooking tips or things, easy meals to prep, please let me know. Like, please, I'm struggling. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's a pretty nice kitchen. It's got a lot of space. Here, let me show you guys. Got a stove, countertop, and dishes. There's like a dishwasher there. This is a fridge. It's uh, got some food in there. And microwave. That's pretty much it, standard kitchen. It's a nice size, and I've been learning to make some food in here. Again, trying. <laughs> One thing that's pretty annoying about making your own food is that not only do you have to prep your food, you also have to eat it, right? And once you eat it, you have to clean up. So it takes like an hour to two hours for me to actually make these meals and, and eat. And I do meal prep, so I'll cook over the weekend and then that way during the week I'm less busy, but it still takes up a lot of time. So I'm really trying to figure out like how to balance that because it, it does take up a lot of time. I straight up just recorded that so I could show off that my camera can do 120 frames in slow motion. All right, so that's the kitchen. It's really nice. And this is our living room. We have the couch, the plants, the TV. I don't spend a lot of time out here, but there is this balcony, which is awesome. We just step outside. There's a great view of the city. If you zoom in more, you can see the Empire State Building, that's Central Park. If you go over here, you can see the Financial District, World Trade Center, and this is pretty much the entire New York City skyline, all in, all in one little shot, so, or one big shot rather, so that's pretty cool. I honestly think it's a pretty rad view. I'll come out here, sit on that bench, 
and think about life sometimes, which sounds super emo. But when you're just looking at the entire night skyline, it's really sick. All right, so that's the balcony. And last thing before I head to my room is the bathroom. Let me switch these lights on. Nothing crazy. It's a regular sized bathroom. There's a cool light here. That's pretty much it. All right, so finally, this is my room. I've got the bed, the plant, which is not mine. These pictures came with the room. Those are not mine. These two wooden blocks, also not mine. I don't know if they have some kind of like, uh, maybe some kind of artistic meaning. Like your life is blanks, I don't know. I think they might just be two wooden blocks. Um, but we got the boosted board here in the corner and got the desk. Uh, this monitor also came with the room. The bed, the furniture, everything came with the room, um, which was super nice. And then got the closet right here. And yeah, that's the room. It's decently sized. Uh, very cozy and that is it for the apartment but I have a gym right down the hall that I want to show you guys um, and I also have an amazing rooftop that is part of the building uh, so I want to show you guys that as well <laughs> All right, so this is a gym, obviously very, very far from my actual apartment, you know? It's pretty close, which is, it's really close. It's literally down the hall. But there's some, um, eh, I don't know, there's not like a barbell, which is kind of unfortunate, but there's a good amount of dumbbells. There's this cool spiral staircase. It goes up to the roof. There's like a party going on up there, which is that loud music. And yeah, I don't come here that often, but when I'm too lazy to go to my actual gym, I'll come here. It's literally down the hall, so there's no excuse not to come. And yeah, this is just part of what you get for 1400 a month in Brooklyn. All right, so there's a party going up here on the rooftop, just one floor above, but it's really loud. I'm gonna feel so awkward right now, but I'm just gonna go out and film real quick. And hopefully no one notices. Well, that was really awkward. There was a whole family up there and their extended family kind of like having a huge party. And I just ran through their party and recorded for a few minutes uh, or a few seconds because I was too scared to stay longer. Um, but usually it's pretty quiet there. It's usually pretty calm. And you can go out there after work and like sit, sit and think about life, watch the sunset behind the New York City skyline, which is a good plus for this apartment. All right, so I've been in this place this apartment for about what three three weeks now so I've been here for a little bit and I'm really enjoying my time here but um, yeah I, I've kind of had a little bit of tough time adjusting to working full-time it's so different it's so different from working or going to college and like to be honest college is really really easy compared to working full-time it's um, tiring when I come back from work typically I'll come back from work uh, around five or six after a full day of work and then when I come back I'll make my dinner I'll eat it I'll clean up go to the gym by the time I come back it's like 11 or like 11 30 I make my meal for the next day and then it's midnight you know so I can't really find the motivation right now to put in the extra hour from like midnight to one uh, because I've worked the next day and so yeah it's been really tough kind of balancing that with my other interests. I've been getting adjusted and that's why I've been again kind of been on a little bit of a break but I'm excited to kind of get back into it as I get my balance down. Uh, this time last year I was also in New York City but I was having a very different experience. I was working on my own business. I was working on making videos and basically I was just running around the city like pretty much all day long in Manhattan and you know that's very different from what I'm and that's very different from what I'm doing now, which is working full time. And yeah, I can't say that it's more fun than what I was doing last summer. It's really different from last year when I was honestly just like having a good time versus now I feel like I have some response. So, sorry, my uh, camera almost fell. I'm literally like, um, here, let me take a picture. I'm literally balancing this camera 
on my door. I'll put that screenshot up here. But oh, the camera is falling. Basically, yeah, I'm not having as much fun as I was last year, and that's expected. You know, I have like more responsibilities now. Um, but it is interesting how draining it can be when you're working full time in the city. So. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, so like I said, it's been pretty tough balancing everything. You know, I'm not a machine. I come home from work. I'm tired. It's not possible for me to do everything that I really want to get done. Um, so it really comes down to that balance, which I'm getting better at. Like I said, I'm redlining my YouTube content now. So I'm really going to give it all I have and go full force. So if you're new to the channel, then be sure to subscribe so you can check out those videos. Also, I've been MIA on this channel, but I haven't been on my Instagram. You know, if you are already following me there, then you kind of know a lot of this stuff. So if you aren't following, be sure to follow and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Ow! What? <laughs>